I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Consider tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day, the calm before the storm. Retail stores throughout the region are preparing for the annual Black Friday invasion of shoppers. And this year, a number of stores won't be waiting until the early morning hours Friday to open their doors. Several will open up at 9 or 10 p.m. Thanksgiving night. Their way of uh, getting an edge and maybe more consumer dollars. One retail chain, Gander Mountain, will be open all day Thanksgiving Day. Now keep checking back here at Record Online for Black Friday developments, including the severity of the anticipated traffic tie-ups, especially in the area around Woodbury Common. Thanksgiving Day figures to be a tough day for Chris and Angie Ryan of Ellenville, a couple now forced to say goodbye to friends and supporters. The Ryans are in the process of moving out of their Wintish Road home in order to get better access to proper care for Eddie, their wounded warrior son who suffered brain injuries and was left paralyzed during a firefight while serving with his fellow Marines in Iraq back in 2005. The Ryans are moving to the Albany area so that uh, Eddie can be closer to a VA medical center where he can get uh, the physical and occupational therapy he must have if he is to make any further progress in his recovery. Reporter Jeremiah Horrigan will have the full story of the Ryans' move and reaction in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. More than 700 needy families in the Middletown area will be enjoying a traditional Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Thanks to the folks at the RECAP Anti-Poverty Agency, along with their loyal contributors and the members of the youth group from a local church. This morning, program participants uh, began lining up for a turkey and uh, all the trimmings donated by local retailers, uh, members of the community, and parishioners from the Christian Faith Fellowship Family Church in Fair Oaks. Members of the church youth group also coordinated today's food distribution. And to go to church, it's another thing to be the church, to kind of just step out in the community and really make a difference. And this was something they were real excited about. So when they heard about the opportunity, we conducted a food drive, collected over 2,100 items. We donated as a church uh, almost 200 turkeys, and we've provided the manpower, helped them set up. You know, we really just want to just be a service, you know, and help people out. And so I think it's a good uh, lesson for our teens, and it'll go a long way for them, carry them along in life. Those with recaps and nutrition programs say this fall they saw a dramatic increase in the number of families seeking help to put a Thanksgiving dinner on the table. The criminal case against an Ulster County woman accused of trying to kill her mother back in July is moving forward. Grand jury indicted 41-year-old Lois Lubrano of Napanock for the felonies of attempted murder, attempted assault, and criminal mischief. Police say Lebrano threatened to kill her 72-year-old mother inside her Continental Road home while holding a 12-gauge shotgun to her head. Lebrano then uh, shot at her mother and missed as she ran to a neighbor's house for help. Lebrano then barricaded herself inside the house for about three hours before surrendering. Elsewhere, a Brooklyn man was arraigned today for an alleged sexual assault that victimized a Newburgh woman he'd met online, 30-year-old Angel Acevedo was charged with first-degree rape and was ordered held on $25,000 cash bail. Uh, police say Acevedo met the 21-year-old Newburgh woman on Facebook. That led to personal encounters and the alleged assault in the victim's home back in May. Acevedo was arrested five months later. Uh, police say he uses several aliases uh, that made it tougher for them to track him down. Well, over the vocal objections of more than 20 parents, the Roundout Valley School Board followed through with its plan to close their Rosendale Elementary School at the end of the current school year. Declining school enrollment, uh, coupled with rising costs, led to the board's decision to shut down the school and place students in other district buildings. Uh, the building is currently about 36% uh, full. Estimates are the Roundout District will save about $835,000 a year by closing Rosendale School. And in your holiday weekend travels, be sure to obey the state's new move over law, requiring motorists to shift to the passing lane when they approach a stopped police car alongside a highway. Two Massachusetts women ignored the law while driving past a troop car along the thruway, and it cost them big time. Troopers pursued their vehicle, and after pulling it over, they uh, found 14 bales of marijuana inside, weighing more than 200 pounds. The women, Zeta Santiago 
and Milagros Nunos were uh, both charged with violating the move over law and felony marijuana possession. But better weather is moving into the region just in time for Turkey Day. After a chilly start tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day, temperatures will climb to around uh, 50 degrees under a mostly sunny sky with sunshine on Friday, and it'll be a bit milder with the uh, highs in the upper 50s. Stay connected to Record Online for breaking news and uh, read tomorrow's Times Herald Record for the stories important to you. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Banks.